What's up gamers, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be going over the map of Coastline in Rainbow Six Siege. Before we go any further, the links to my Twitch and Twitter are in the description below, so make sure you go check those out. Now, unlike Villa, unlike Cafe, which are the two maps we've discussed already, Coastline does not really have, in my opinion, a very central room you need to get control of. Because lots of the sites can be taken two different ways, and lots of the sites require the opposite side of the map to be controlled, right? So, what makes Coastline very difficult as a defender is the, ver the amount of vertical play that can be done paired with the amount of windows and lines of sight the attackers can make. For example, pretty much all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, pretty much everything upstairs is soft. You can blow it up with a buck, sledge, grenade, Zofia, ash. The only thing that's indestructible are the hallways and staircases. Now, as you can see, as I just said, all of that is destructible. What also makes this map very difficult to defend are all these windows. This window, big window, very good. Hookah window, very good. Opening up this quad wall is very strong. Repelling on this balcony. And the reason for that is, if you have a buck, a really good spot to play as smoke, you put a shield here, you play behind this mini bar. That's where I like to play a lot of smoke. If you have a buck, go downstairs. He bucks out this entire floor. If there's somebody sitting on this big window, when you have to run out because you're being bucked out below, this guy on big window can shoot you as you're running away. Especially, again, if you're not on big window, opening up this wall from a Habana on the roof. Maybe Habana sitting right here, opens up the wall. Now you can't play behind the bar, especially if you're getting bucked out. When you have to run away, then the Habana is able to shoot you. This makes this map very annoying, to be honest, to defend in one of my least favorite maps at this time. Simply because of playing as a defender, there's very little areas you can play. The windows are very dominant. You try fighting somebody upside down repelled on this window, and you have to swing this with no intel. You don't know if he's bottom left, bottom right, upside down, right side up. With the SMG-11 against maybe a Blackbeard, it's going to be very difficult to win this fight. Paired with a buck shooting you from below, maybe somebody hook a window watching so you can't run out of the hallway, run out into the hallway or somebody's 90 or somebody's VIP, maybe opened up this wall watching into this angle. It just makes it very, very difficult to defend. Now, knowing that, the best places to play on this map have to be where they can't get below you. And that would have to be near vase, this area right up in here, uh, right here. Usually we want to reinforce this wall and this wall. And then maybe put a shield in this doorway with maybe an ADS or two or some of my magnets inside of hookah. This is able to stop the hookah push. And also, you can't be uh, duh, you can't be blown up or shot or bucked or anything from downstairs. You can get shot from the roof through this little window. This is why this map is really annoying because pretty much everywhere you go, you can be shot from outside of the map. You really don't even need to get inside of the building unless you need to plant. You can have somebody play big window. They can watch the billiards rotate. Somebody can watch from big window the luggage rotate. They can watch through the default rotate into hookah. Somebody hookah window can watch through this rotate into vase. Somebody on the roof can watch all of these rotates. And it just becomes very, very, very difficult to play this as a defender and very annoying to play as a defender. But like I said, the best ways to counter that are just playing where you can't be um, affected by that type of play. So if you're tucked deep in this corner, you can't be shot from any of the windows unless they open up a really long line of sight somehow through these walls to where you are. There's pretty much nothing they can do to affect you. And especially if you're playing this with a shotgun, they need to force up cool vibes. You have a shotgun, you can hopefully easily one pump them. And then the same way goes for if you are downstairs, lots of the play is above, playing above, opening down, uh, maybe upside down repel service. This is downstairs isn't as effective as much from outside it's mainly above so the way to counter that would be having a big upstairs hold for example what a lot of teams do on kitchen right above kitchen is penthouse penthouse is very well it's really vip and penthouse but what lots of teams will do is they will hold penthouse usually with a shield right here with a couple ads's inside of this inside of near these couches and then you have somebody play on this shield to deny all of this area you have somebody play either 90 with this reinforced or play luggage or play aqua pretty much you just have a really strong upstairs hold and it makes it very difficult for the attackers to get that vertical control because you have to clear all of this utility and two people and even then let's say a buck uh, let's say there's an ash who's throwing a flashbang this one who's playing on this shield 
peeks out and kills the ash now you can't clear this shield or it's a lot more difficult to and the defenders are able to retain upstairs control but like i said the really that this map is very strong with vertical gameplay so operators like buck sledge Sophia are really going to be strong for the attacking side like i said habana is really good for this wall right here so either habana or ace are really good for this wall um window window repels are really strong but that also makes runouts really strong being able to run out on a window repel run out of office kill a guy big window or play on this sunrise window open it up kill the guy big window that's also really strong so nomad's really good but going back to the soft destruction on defense a pulse is really good a valkyrie is really good having these indestructible areas like top cool vibes this area right here if you put a mirror right here they can basically not even push into hookah this window also cannot really affect this mirror that much so just you have to use the map's advantages to your advantage if the def if the attackers are most likely to gonna go and hold uh, go attack upstairs then you need to be able to use nitro cells shotguns lines of sight to blow them up from below or hold upstairs with lots of utility maybe a mozzie wamai vigil jaeger somebody like that to waste time waste utility maybe get a kill and if you know the defenders are going to do that playing these windows and coordinating with your team is going to be very important maybe you have somebody repel this big window go inside through hall of fame and you use all of these windows you push into vip push into hall of fame push into master and you just try and you force the defenders outside of theater they try and rotate down white stairs you have somebody playing white window and they're able to get the kill get the pick while the defender is rotating back lots of the times when i play this map especially competitively my whole job is literally to sit on the roof i just sit on the roof and i drone okay we're pushing somebody out somebody's maybe we get a drone somebody's rotating through luggage i'm sitting on the roof i just shoot them while they're going luggage somebody's we have a buck or sledge in vip maybe a visuals flanking them through vip hallway i'm on the roof i just shoot them it's pretty much it's really strong being able to deny the defenders where they can play but also deny their rotates especially like this theater example if they're trying to get back to site down wide stairs you can deny them that way this map is very important for map control for that exact reason if you have somebody if you're trying to attack kitchen you need to get upstairs if you can't get upstairs well to get upstairs you need to get theater and penthouse you eventually are hopefully able to push them out you need to have somebody there to make sure those defenders can't just slip away downstairs and then come back for a later flank especially if somebody like nomad is banned to be honest i would probably prefer a gridlock for this map simply because you can deny this staircase with a nomad but if somebody's maybe in billiards and you didn't join them or in aqua they can easily flank this hallway so i think a gridlock would be better you just tracks off this whole area this whole kind of 90 area same with this area like top white stairs now nobody can come up the stairs or through luggage and that way you cannot get flanked as easily or at all that's pretty much all to say for coastline quickly recapping lots of windows lots of soft destruction so bring lots of buck sledge Sophia, lots of pulse valkyrie mute pretty much anybody with a shotgun for window play the counter to that is mainly going to be either swinging and hopefully shooting the person off the window or running out so a valkyrie is also going to be good for that you can throw a cam deep outside somebody's repelled on the window you can run out shoot them but to counter that run out bring a nomad put a nomad charge on the windows maybe a claymore um on the run out something like that and counter that but that's pretty much all i have to say thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed remember to like and subscribe i stream pretty much every day link in the description below thank you for watching and peace out gamers